You can almost hear the roaring engines from here. In just hours, the massive Formula One race will take place in Las Vegas, which has transformed for the event. Las Vegas insiders and hosts of the Vegas Revealed podcast, Dana Roselli and Sean McAllister, joining us live from Las Vegas. Okay, I have a couple friends who are there right now. It sounds like it is just incredibly huge, humongous. I know there's been so much construction. People have had to deal with traffic, but it's finally here. Are you as excited as the people I know going? <laughs> wow. We went last night and it was incredible, the opening ceremonies. It really was. I think at least from our perspective at this point, I think that the frustrations leading up to now are paying off. Yes. <laughs> so there is definitely buzz just about as loud as those car engines. Formula One weekend is here. We were at those opening ceremonies last night. Uh, we actually drove the course as well before they shut it down. Uh, and this is kind of a, a look at what those drivers are going to be seeing. There are qualifying rounds that begin tonight. They continue tomorrow night. And then the, the main race is 10 p.m on Saturday. Yeah, so it'll look a lot different than what you're seeing. The cones will be gone, the lights will be on. It's going to be pretty spectacular. I know we're going to take tons of money in from gaming and, you know, again, from what we saw last night, they had drones in the sky, fireworks. It was John <laughs> Legend, Kylie Minogue, Will I Am. It was spectacular. Oh, wow. And the facilities and that building they set up, it's gorgeous. All of it. So it's it's something different. It's global, and I think it's pretty exciting. It's really cool. I mean, I, it almost this video it it looks like it's a video game or something. Like it doesn't even look real. So, okay, I'm glad we're having fun with that. I always love this segment because you guys really diversify all the different things to do in Las Vegas. So tell us about your first regulated cannabis lounge. I know, I mean, it's been approved and now it's finally gonna open and this is a first. And when you say lounge, you're like, well, what does that mean? It means everyone can go there and you know, Smoke pot, <laughs> take edibles, <laughs> hang out with one another. So um, it's opening at the uh, end of this year. We don't have an exact date. This is a rendering of what it looks like. The name is called Smoke and Mirrors, and it's part of oh, the Thrive cute. Cannabis Marketplace. And it's going to be this upscale smoking lounge. Yeah, there's supposed to be uh, live music in there. There's food and beverage. beverage. Also, uh, infused food and beverage programs, a heightened mixology program. Interesting. So, <laughs> Listen, Jamie, if you're into it, it's going to be here for you. Uh, no comment. <laughs> um, lastly, it seems like there's always something new on the Strip besides cannabis lounges. You also, maybe for uh, a more family-friendly idea, there's a new yeah. immersive art exhibit museum, and it has a deal happening now in November? Yeah. Yeah, and you have to act quick on it. So this is called the Arte Museum. And we've seen a lot of these immersive exhibits before, but we went, and this is by far the coolest one that we've seen. Uh, now through November 28th, they're offering 30% off ticket prices as part of their preview. But then on November 29th, that's the official grand opening and the deal's gonna be over. So you do have to act before November 28th to yeah. get that deal. And it's, you know, multi-sensory. So that like room right now where you're seeing the beautiful ocean, you're hearing the ocean, there's aromas and each room is really cool. You saw the Vegas room that they um, actually built specifically for this exhibit there on the strip. There it is, some of the slot machines, you can see fireworks over the strip. I mean, it's really cool and worth checking out if you're here. It's family friendly, like you said, so all ages are welcome. <laughs> and it's kind of sandwiched in there between Aria and the Cosmos. Cosmopolitan, oh, okay. just to kind of give you a reference of where it is. Gotcha. Okay. I'm trying to decide if it would be a good idea or bad idea to do the cannabis lounge and then go to the immersive art exhibit. I mean, that's the order to do it in. I think, I think, I think <laughs> cannabis lounge first. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys both so much. You can hear more from Dana and Sean each week on Vegas Revealed. It's available wherever you listen to podcasts. <laughs>